Hello Devo Tribers and of course you know I'm going to welcome you to a brand new week where of course together we will be spending wonderful moments together reading from our devotional God's Big Idea. I'm Auntie Kay. Today is June 11th and our scripture text is coming to us from Colossians 4 verse 6 which reads, when you talk you should always be kind and wise and our title is Pass the Salt. People who have been cooking for a long time know how cooking works. So if they read something weird in a recipe, they might decide to do things another way. For instance, let's say a good cook is making soup. The recipe calls for two tablespoons of salt. That's a lot of salt. The cook adds one tablespoon of salt, lets it cook for a little while, and then tastes it. If it needs more salt, the cook will add a little more. The cook knows this rule. You can always add more salt, but you can't take it away. If you ever have eaten a potato chip, you know that salt tastes good. Food that doesn't have salt can be very boring. Would you even bother to eat a potato chip if it didn't have salt on it? Salt makes eating interesting. Here is another version of today's Bible text. Let your conversation be always full of grace, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how to answer everyone. What do you think it means to season your conversation with salt? Perhaps it means that you should not try to be boring. When you talk to other people, think about what they're interested in. Perhaps it means that you should be thoughtful and kind. Be careful not to hurt their feelings. Perhaps it means you should be pleasant, not whining. And remember the cook's rule? You can always add more salt, but you can't take it away. Once you say it, you can't unsay it. Think before you speak. When Jesus spoke, his words were seasoned with salt. People crowded to listen. Jesus can help you learn to salt your words until they're just right. I need that help and so I'm thankful that Jesus could help me and guess what he can help you too. Thank you for spending these moments with me right here on Devo Tribe. I'll see you tomorrow.